All right. Hi, everybody. Rachel Herman here, Director of Secondary Teaching and Learning. And Tiara Rogers, Director of Extended Learning and Educator Development. And we are here today to talk to you about iXL as a curricular resource to support our middle school students. So I'm going to share my screen. All right, so this is an information item update. All right, so um, what is iXL? So iXL is a curricular resource, and what it does is it supports students' math and literacy skill development through targeted diagnostic assessments and instruction. Um, something that's obviously very important to us with any curricular resource is that it's aligned to the Wisconsin State Standards, to some of the standardized assessment measures that we administer here in Waukesha, the MAP, the FORWARD, as well as the ACT. Um, and then something that makes iXL very unique as a resource is that it's already connected to many of the curricular resources that already exist in our literacy and math classrooms. So iXL partners with companies like TCI, like StudySync, like um, Illustrative Math, and um, that really helps to build the bridge between what students are getting in their literacy and math classrooms and any additional support that they might need in those areas. So this is a resource that spans kindergarten through calculus in terms of the skills that it allows students to work on. And so our teachers are able to work with students regardless of the skill level that they come in with on either remediation or acceleration options. Some of the features of iXL that are really unique that are beneficial for both our teachers and our students um, are the analytics that it provides for our staff. Um, so you can see this is just a quick view of some of the highlights, um, but we can see that we can see student usage, so how often are students on this platform. There's, like I mentioned earlier, the diagnostic um, analysis where we can see specifically what strands or what skills students have deficit in um, in order to target their growth. Um, we can see what skills students are practicing, we can see progress and growth, we can assign quizzes, so just a lot of resources for teachers. Additionally, um, the iXL offers test prep and assessment skill plans for students. So right now this is only being targeted um, at our middle school level, but um, you can see that MAP is on here and that is a measure that we use in both 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, um, as well as the Wisconsin Forward. And so again, you know, being able to design a plan specifically for a student around their score and what areas they need to grow in is, is really beneficial. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you um, what iXL looks like in terms of, you know, a daily maybe problem or skill that students might be working on. So this is an example of just a math problem. And what you can see here at the bottom of the screen is something that's designed to help students to work independently. Um, so it says work it out, not feeling ready yet, this can help. And if you click, um, it takes you back to a lesson that helps the student to be able to answer the question correctly. So there's reteaching opportunities built directly into the platform. All right, so with IXL, as Rachel just mentioned, um, will be utilized in our middle level. So it will be used in grades six, seven, and eight to support literacy and numeracy in our math classrooms. It will be utilized in both our monolingual spaces as well as our dual language programs. And lastly, um, it will be used for students who require both remediation and acceleration. Our rationale for this adoption is, um, as, as with other curricular adoptions, we have noticed that our data in the middle school level in the area of literacy and math continues to be stagnant or in some areas we've seen a decline um, in past years. Also, iXL is an evidence-based platform, so we want to make sure we're putting things in front of students that are not created by teachers um, that we know will give us, um, in a sense, the bang for the buck, and we know students are going to get achievement from those um, tools that we're using. It also allows teachers to continue to develop math and literacy skills using, using personalized goal setting tools. There's expert tutorials, and they can have that continued practice um, as we look to grow our over, 
all academic achievement um, in our tier one spaces. And then lastly, having a tool like IXL allows teachers to deliver um, targeted double dose of instruction. So students are getting that tier one universal classroom instruction. And because as Rachel mentioned earlier, um, IXL does support curricular resources that we're already utilizing. Teachers are able to go in and personalize and select those skills for students that are directly connected to what we're doing in the classroom. And they get that second dose of that independent practice to either remediate or accelerate them in their skills. And um, also with um, anything that we're bringing on, we also like to see what our neighboring districts are doing. And we have several districts here who have found success with using IXL and they're seeing growth in their student achievement data um, since their implementation. So um, here we have Oconomowoc, Maguanago, Fond du Lac, Racine, Cedarburg, Whitefish Bay, Kenosha, and Cudahy. So what our pilot process will entail is that our 6th, 7th, and 8th grade teachers across all of our middle schools, including STEM, will pilot IXL um, from December, really through the end of March. We're going to monitor student achievement data um, in conjunction with how many lessons are completed. And then we'll also collect student and teacher feedback around the resource. We plan on returning to the board in April to discuss the results of our pilot and then talk about our recommendation moving forward in the following school year. We look forward to seeing you um, on Tuesday night to answer any questions that you might have. Thanks so much.